So you need some entertainment. Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Oh. Stop. But they didn't do anything to you. I'm not. I'm just seeing how many I can pick up. I'm, I'm training. You're throwing them on the ground. Everybody get down. Like. That's like roughly like the length of like falling out of your bed. Or what they floated and what they just dropped there. And that does not feel good. I guess it'd be a little unpleasant. Did she just phase into reality? See, they're uh, all. Look yes. at them. See, none of them are real. It's all. It's all fake. It's all. This is all a simulation, Kieran. <laughs> yeah, I know. Gotta break Cat out. She's not in the real world. You think you could control gravity in the real world? Gravity controls you. Yes. It's the one demon we cannot defeat. The magnetic force that pulls us to the ground, to hell below us. <laughs> That's right, son. Hell is real. <laughs> and that's where gravity comes from. <laughs> gravity is the devil pulling you down. <laughs> Why do you think we built these our cities so high? <laughs> it's to escape to keep our away sins. From him. Yes. Get on that airboat liner. So are we done with Plejune? That is a fart. That's a that's a terrible <laughs> that horn. That was a farty ass <laughs> fart. <laughs> Burp. That that Brap. uh yeah I was gonna say that that liner just brapped at me. <laughs> uh yes I think we are done with uh with that. I hardly knew ye pleasure district. Hang on I'm trying to get. I think I can like go faster than this thing but you know it's it's about uh, there the are some collectible gems over there. That'll be fine. I think those are just worth like one. We'll get them later. Chump change. The chunky ones, though, those are, those are worth it. Where uh, are we this, going? This <gasps> liner's heading straight for a gravity thing. Oh, never mind. No, oh. this place. This is my favorite. This is my favorite island. Ooh. Yeah. I feel like this was the halfway point of the game, from what I remember. Hey. I also did a lot of, like the bonus stuff. I did a bunch of like the time trial thingies. I did every little thing. So. I did you all probably the collected stuff. all those little gems. I got, if not all of them, at least most of them. It's just so it was factory. a fun game to put on a podcast and get little jemmies. Oh, fuck, no, hang on. That. It's good ones right there. These are worth it. Oh, I see. The thick the ones. Biggest. Yeah. Some sturdy jibs right there. Hang on, let me get... I gotta get back on my plane before anyone notices I'm gone. Didn't we have a passenger earlier? Oh we don't shit! Have, she wasn't another jumper, was she? Hey, there we go. This is the one that I I remember specifically for how cool this uh this boss fight is. This is All right. really fun. That no no one's tying this boat to anything. They just hit the brakes. The boat brakes. Oh. Thing stops on a dime. There we go. Now we can go back home. Oh, now we got a fast travely spot. I love this part. This part looks cool. Like, like the maybe because like the how nice the the music is here. It's like Plejune's cool, but it's a little it's a little much. It's a bit up tempo. <gasps> Our friend. <gasps> I recognize you. Cat, just the girl I wanted to see. That can't be good. Alias, the king of thieves, just announced his next target. Industria, sacred gem. I need you to help protect it. Industria, that's cute. Yeah, it's the it's the industrial place, you know. Anyway, this time it's up to me and the other elite officers to stop him. That means you. Elite to you? Ah, don't be like that. They like my idea of switching out the real gym so much, they asked me to make another candy fake <laughs> to do it again. <laughs> another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember how it didn't get stolen that time? They're still trying to find the mayor's candy just, daughter. Just keep keep around. The candy wife is here. <laughs> Alrighty, we love protecting everyone. That's the spirit. Hey, <laughs> I'm actually Hazama uh, from Blaze Blue. Oh my god, hate Hazama. 
He was, uh, he had the chains and the green hair and seemed like a crazy man. Green hair was probably was the worst thing. part. Yeah, no, that was, that was just it. Thanks for agreeing <sighs> to help, little lady. I apologize about before. I've been hearing nothing but good things about you. Uh, boss, she has a <laughs> oh, name, you know. Guy. Anyway, thanks for agreeing to help, Miss Cat. The scary old guy here is Bulbosa, and I'm That's since me. a partner, Chaz. Oh, the Chaz. Oh, uh, phew. It sounds like this time my help is official. I didn't care for sneaking all over the place. What do you think of Sid's plan? It'll be fine. Sid's as sharp as a killer candy gem. That's him. Miss Cat, we got this area covered. If you could check on the fake for us, we'd appreciate it one bunch. The officers there don't know they're guarding a fake. For the good of the plan, make sure it stays that way. I'll go check on the fake gem. Surely we're not being bamboozled by Alias again. That'd be impossible. All right, my uh, brain blast conspiracy okay. theory. What is uh, it? Sid is actually alias is actually I, the thief the whole time like yeah like there I know is no he, like, secret double it is just him yeah it's just him like, they're right when he here. revealed it when he revealed it last time he was like actually no i'm pretending to be sid <laughs> ocelot type so quadruple I, crossing stuff yeah. okay so i can use this trickery again later because this seems this seems too much of a setup so i have a crazy feeling alias is gonna pop up before this thing works out what what, what, why would that happen? Hang on, we're already Well, down we here. mentioned him by name, and... <laughs> <laughs> Gravity is the only way to travel. Boom. How do people get around this city when they can't do this? They take the <laughs> airboat. I guess. Look at her. She's just ready to go. This guy is not into it. No need to worry. We've got everything under control. My grandma's wish was to protect the sacred gem. <laughs> I, tell this, I tell this to everybody who comes by. It sounds like that gem is in good hands. If I will give shows my up, life for this right gem. Away. Sid, is if, that you? If someone told me this gem was made of candy, it would drive <laughs> me crazy. My grandma hated candy. If there's My anything grandma, she told me, it was to protect this gem and to burn all candy. Words, her dying words. Forsake all candy. Protect only the gem. This is the fake, but it looks so real. You think we could just like... Let's just gravity it and take it with us. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh. Get a very close look. I'm going to sit on it. <laughs> yep, that's candy. All right. Okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> All right, Kat, thanks for looking at it. Now don't look at it so something can happen. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's fine. I saw explosions. What? I just got a call from HQ. Those were bombs planted by Alias. And he said there's another one ready to blow at the waste processing plant. The shit plant. <laughs> he's, 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 gonna, an he's, he's Kat. gonna cover this whole place into the shit. I like that this thief is known for his well-placed bombs. The waste processing plant. Mm-hmm. What kind of waste? We ain't talking about the... You, your stomach, you know? Yeah. Oh, what? Find oh. the bomb! <sighs> oh, God. Gravity <sighs> the bomb out! Hang on, I gotta clear the shit. Oh, my God. Get out. <laughs> Go pick it back up. No, get it! Oh my god, I oh see it! Oh my god! It's Waste right processing there. plant was an inside job. Did that rock get back in here? Oh my god! There, it's gone. All right, you still got like a minute, ten. There, I got the bomb. Now what? Throw it to the gravity hole. Where? To you? What? Help me defuse the bomb. Okay. Oh, well, all right. There, I defused the bomb. We should be safe. And what's with Chaz his looks like face? he's got such an attitude. Something's going on there. Looks a little something. What? 
Oh. It's the new, it's the Debbie. They're all over the place, clear near the fake. What? Uniformed officers are doing a fine enough job of drawing an alias in. They're the bait. What? Oh my God, Sid will have people. You go kill monster. It's me, Sid. I'm dying. Also, don't leave leave an active bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's not active, Sid. He, you, the Chaz defused it. Yeah, but alias can come and refuse it. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I never considered that. <laughs> I suppose there should be an opposite for defused. Yeah. Why? <laughs> if, if you accept something, you also defuse it. <laughs> he defused to take his order. Yeah. Which means he took it right away. Oh, that's a hole. Whoa. Nope, stop, stop falling. Ah! Okay, I'll be there in one second. Just hang on, hang on. Let me get a good aim here. There we go. You never know what could happen next. Can I throw this at you? I think you can like throw shit at them. You could throw your fake rocks. I could throw my fake rocks. Hey, oh, fuck you. Nice. Bopped. No, throw shit at them. You ever have sock and boppers? Sock and boppers. So they, they were more fun than, than a pillow, a pillow fight. fight. Blow them up, put your hands put your inside. Put your hands inside, get ready, get to, ready have to have the, fight the for time your life. of your life. Oh, yeah. I had that one, too. Yeah, no, I I had a whole running joke about sock and bopper, sword and shield. Oh, in my fucking, okay. well. <laughs> in my fucking stupid-ass comic. Well, then, all right. <laughs> I love that shit. That shit was so fun. We we got them once and beat the hell out of each other. Exactly. It, just uh, basically just, uh, you know, a real good way to get kids to get their aggression out on each other. <laughs> I want I want that as an adult, you know? How do you get your aggression out it's as an adult? boxing. Boxing? Tyler's been, Tyler's been getting way into boxing recently. He really? Got a, got a whole punching bag set up. He went to a boxing gym the other day. He's, oh, uh, man. That he's embracing fun. the lifestyle. Yeah, I, I... He's getting ready to learn how to punch. He's telling me how to make a fist correctly. I Everybody does it wrong, apparently. Really? You don't just take your knuckles and put them in your palm? Nope. There's like a, you know, you want your, your thumb. You don't put it over your fingers, and you don't put your fingers over it. You kind of, like, let it rest naturally. Everyone likes to put it under the fingers, and I guess that's wrong. That's I'm bad. looking at my hand now, like, what? I figured... I'll have to look. You'll have to teach me later. Yeah, like look like like basically your fist needs to look like you're about to do a thumb war. Like that's where your thumb is. Like it's on the wrapped part of your finger, not on like oh, the knuckly okay. part. Huh. But that's like and there's like a whole twist action when you punch and uh, I do know about like the twist. I know about the twisty like stepping into it kind of thing. Yeah, you got to put your weight into it. Yeah, like some of the stuff I knew, but I, I was definitely. I definitely had my fing my thumb under my or well not under my fingers but on the bottom side of my fist. Yeah, that's that, that's where that's everybody does it. That's apparently false. That is what are you talking about? That's just how it's been for millennia. Our forefathers well, punched apparently their way. Apparently they've been doing it wrong. Well, the boxologists everywhere disagree with them. Well, when fucking boxers are on the front lines, you let me know. All right, fair enough. <laughs> 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 We've sent in the secret weapon. His name is Muhammad Ali. He will punch him to death. I know I'm supposed to find a police officer, but I don't know where the fuck they are. Eh, he'll find himself eventually. Right. You're supposed to find three of them. I got one. Yeah. Because we started and he was up there. I don't know if the other one was over there. I'm just going to well, fuck up your then, AC. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's oh, going to no, be a just... scorcher. You'll call, you You said you'd call today. I'll call today. You call now. <laughs> I hear someone my God. struggling. You're just opening up locked parts of my brain. <laughs> Man. What was there it that you, you brought of, up the other day when we were uh, playing shit? The fucking Nickelodeon uh, magazine? Yeah, the Nickelodeon magazine could commercial. You please, I, could you please I, read I me a Nickelodeon magazine? <sighs> all right, let me get myself ready here. You're on a mission to get Nickelodeon magazine. It's packed with celebrity <laughs> interviews and comics and puzzles and great stuff to collect. But only a real live grown-up can call to order it for you. 
Of course, you can think of a nice, polite way to ask. Nickelodeon Magazine, please. please. Nickelodeon Magazine, please. <laughs> it's, that, it's that one that I always <laughs> like, because like you hear the kid reading it, but even he sounds like he's surprised he said please. <laughs> Nickelodeon Magazine, please. You never know who will pop in, what will pop out, and it's so good, you'll eat it all up. And you can get Nickelodeon Magazine delivered to your door. Six issues for $9.97. Credit cards are acceptable. And grown-ups know it's full of fun and interesting facts for growing minds. Unbelievable! So don't just stand there. Nickelodeon! There are lots of ways to show you really want Nickelodeon Magazine. How? Oh, you'll think of something. Nickelodeon Magazine, please. And then the number is up on the screen, which I don't, I didn't remember the number. the number. Like he doesn't say the number, so I didn't learn it. If the if the number was said out loud, I guarantee I would know it. Yeah, so it's but not they, one of those like they, blue uh, screens where they have no, the- No, like the, the, they, they do it in an honestly, I think a classier way where the number is just on the screen, the whole commercial. Like it's just, it's on the bottom of it like the entire time. way? <laughs> well, yeah, cause I think it sounds weird when they're like, when they repeat the number over and over at the end of a commercial, I feel like it feels like it's there's something off putting about that to me. But hey, you probably remember uh, it like if they did. Where you, ha where you have the sped up voice, be like, <laughs> like the. I still the, remember 1 800 C A L L A T T. Well, yeah, if you make a fun song out of it, you can do it. But Free for you I, and cheap for them. Yeah, but I, I, I feel like, man. Calling collect is a concept no one has Dude, anymore. Dude, I know I've been watch we've been watching Twin Peaks and they talk about placing international calls and all this shit. And I'm like, <laughs> like what's <"Whoa."> up? <laughs> just I and just, you know. Phones used to be so much more complicated. I don't like realizing that I am going to be old. I don't like that. Yeah. It's just like, no, this is just normal. This is what happened, right? Yeah. It the happens world to has everybody. Just, <laughs> the world Things just, change. No. Technology takes off. <laughs> Things become redundant or uh Insuff uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not insufficient. Uh, obsolete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, hey, no one, no one uses this de defunct technology anymore. Growing up before internet though was pretty cool. Like getting, it was. getting that was nice. That was nice. Fuck. Like, there's, there's this layer of like, now there is just so much. Like, there is an infinite number of things that I could choose yeah. to spend my time on and not that like there were necessarily like I mean they, it just wasn't so much at my fingertips as it is now yeah uh, and like and that had has a weird effect to where I feel like now everything feels like it almost intrinsically has a little less value yeah because, because there's just yes. so much you just got it all the time back when you had to fucking yeah you got one episode of Pokemon and yeah you had to there's, <laughs> there's a weird part of me that is very nostalgic for the idea of like I'm turning on a TV and I don't get to choose what's on. Like, it's just, I, I live by this TV but, schedule. But back in the day, man, we hated it. You but hated yeah, but it, I, you but I got... hated it then. I hated it when I turned on my TV and I'm like, ugh, there's going to be an hour of this before the show Fucking I actually want to watch new is Thundercats on. and Johnny Quest yeah, before the I new Dragon Ball or G Gundam episode. Shit. Boo. Get this garbage out of here. Turn off Tenchi Muyo. Give me another Dragon Ball episode. I need to see what's going to happen to Frieza. Tenchi Muyo seems like a show that you would have liked. Tenchi Muyo, I never watched. Uh, and the impression I got from watching commercials for it was it's about a bunch of girls who have a crush on a dude who does not seem to care about them at all. And sometimes maybe there are fights, <laughs> but it seems like it is mostly this dude lives in a house with a bunch of women who totally want his dick. And he uh, acts like a guy who has never thought of sex before. And that's that's from me seeing uh, maybe five minutes via commercials uh, well, and deciding that's what the whole show was. I, I you you are basically right. OK. <laughs> I think that's what made me not like it was I was like, either this guy is just faking uh, or he just really does not care about all of these beautiful anime girls really being into him. And I don't find that relatable in a hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God, I hope I don't lose him. Please, please, please. He's saying the same thing. He please. really does not want to. <laughs> 
<laughs> as much as you don't want to lose him, he is really worried. Yeah, that's that's what I want to know as the pilot. I'm I'm happy knowing that my passengers feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make sure we're on the same page here. If we're all gonna fly yeah. together. Sacred gem, but it's fake. Or are we going to the real one now? The I think this is the real one. Ow. Hey, there we go. I'll just break it with my face. <laughs> what? Are you telling uh -oh. me the sacred gem is missing? Uh-oh. We've really got to stop keeping these sacred gems in places where Alias can find them. There he is. <laughs> hey, what's up? I finally found you, Alias. Why are you doing this? The sacred gem is protecting these people. I won't let you have it. Poor scrappy kitten, your claws aren't sharp enough to scratch me. Maybe you should scamper off before I take <laughs> one of your nine lives. First, my claws are sharper than you think, and second, I'm not going anywhere. This ends here. Well, if you say so. Well, there he goes. Anyway, bye. I'm invincible, <laughs> but you're gonna have to fight my little nevies. Okay. All right, so I can't remember if this was really made clear the last time we interacted with Alias, but he's uh, definitely in league with this th these things. Could be. Or maybe he's just as surprised as we are that they showed up and he's like, well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully convenient. <laughs> I'll take my leave. <laughs> This seems like something you should deal with. <laughs> I could see a Starscream voice coming from, from Alias. Yeah. Man, speaking of Starscream, like, I don't know if this was on a recording. Somebody mentioned, like, the other... Oh, hang on. Stun lock. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, oh. Uh, we got some, loops. Somebody mentioned, I think it was on some stream or something, they were like... No one cares about Starscream. Nobody likes Starscream. False. Are you? He's the Very only false. one I care about. The uh, I, every I Autobot mean, that isn't Optimus is bad and dumb. <laughs> not just I'm not a Transformers kid. And this is Come just on, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. He's stupid. He's only good when he talks <laughs> in a radio voice. That's what makes him fun. He I know. Get his own that's voice. way more character than the fucking normal version. Uh. Yeah, I, I honestly didn't watch a ton of Transformers growing up, so I really have very little opinions on them. But just for uh, character archetypes in general, it's like, yeah, big boss bad guy is cool, but like conniving second in command yeah, who's second always command looking guy. for his chance to stab you in the back is so much more fun to think yeah, about. Yeah, way more relatable. Do stuff with. Yeah. <laughs> I never get to be in charge, but I'm always looking to stab the guy who is. Do I have to hit the other one? Right, because because it's him, right? Okay. Wrong choice. Back to start. What are you guys doing? <laughs> getting We're in just trouble. We're a bunch of little babies. It's fun getting trouble, into trouble. trouble. Pop them out of trouble. Uh, what about what about uh, perfection? That's a that's another that's one I've a, got. Pretty, that's that's a normie pretty, one, man. Put perfection, the yes. Into the slot. Make the right selection. Right selection. We all know this. Okay, we okay, all okay. know it. Then, like, then forget it. I'm talking. <laughs> you know, then, then I'll drop it. I'll drop it. Fine. If it's not impressive, forget it. Cut this part out. I'm Don't not let know. the people know. No, they're gonna know. They're gonna know. I didn't know. bring up perfection. The normie commercial. It is My the normie. Mistake. It is the normie commercial. Trouble. Hold on. Fun Sorry. getting into trouble from Milton Bradley. Way, I way, do way that. more iconic. Yeah, and not as like uh, everyone remembers perfection. You're sounding like remember the '90s over here. The hungry, hungry hippos. Also normie. Uh, we're in an eating race. Okay. Yeah. Um, Hold on, then the, uh... <laughs> Snap, crack, pop! That's a little more fringe, a little more fringe. I like it. That's, you know, where they got that cool concert going on? Yeah. I thought that was You know neat. what? I'm doing this. There we go. That seems like oh, a way to oh, deal oh, with those yeah, guys. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, um, oh. I can't, can't, I can't turn stop. it off. Oh, nope. Oh, well. that one turned it off. Oh, whoa. <laughs> turned everything off. <laughs> a little far. <laughs> a little bit hard. A little bit hard. Bonk. 
Who's this fucking bell turd over here? Well, this it's another- bell end over here. It's just, it's got a dangly part. You see him just blah. I think you gotta gravity kick the, the shell part. Or we could do 10 tiny kicks. I mean, you could. Or you could go to <laughs> just one. There Look at go. that. Destroy the anal bead monster. <laughs> <laughs> Truly the root of our sin. The, uh, these are all just different representations of our of our evils in our society. Oh, okay. See, these are these are just weed. Oh, they're just weed. Yeah, evil. The devil's lettuce, if you will. One weed. One big flower. Uh, dealer. We got you now. You're cornered now, alias. It's not like you can't just seem to vanish into thin air. Oh no, he vanished. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's pretty cool. This is cool. Are those his hands or are those two more heads? Yes. Hmm. This should work. All right. He's calling them his servants. I did like no damage. Oh, well, that was good. Is was this good. A, a Maleficent heartless situation where he thinks he's in control, but really but this is some oh, yeah, but ancient secretly force there. that Ooh. he doesn't realize he's tampering with? Yeah. That's always fun. I like that. I like that angle, too. Like well, the, the, to the seemingly all put together evil mastermind is actually being tricked by their theoretically brainless servants. The furtive pygmy, pygmy so easily forgot. Oh, Whoa, fuck that was all right. Yeah, now kick him while he's down. Boom. Ow, like a hero. OK. I'm the good guy. Oh, fuck. I have a feeling you could have gotten some more damage. And I mean, that. I mean, maybe. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. We're t <laughs> it's vomiting gravity at you. I love how violently she slams on the yeah, fucking ground. Oh, there we go. OK, ow. Nope. Oh, gamer time. Oh boy. Nope. Overshooting I have to it. Find Overshooting weak it. Spots. There we go. Hold this charge. Hurry up. Okay. I need more gravity. More gravity juice for my gravity squeeze. There we go. Owie. Okay, now I just get over there and probably just regular kick him a bunch. Maybe. Or okay, I like that. That's a good move. That's all it did. Oh my god! Hurry! Try spinning. <gasps> Why aren't oh. you? No! 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 That didn't. Oh fuck! Okay, we're just gonna. <laughs> uh, just gonna. Let you think about what you did there, cat. Oh, he jumped to the other one. Ah, switching sides on you. Whoa. Oh, okay. That was a little unfair. I'm taking too long. I'm taking too long. Here. You know what? Look out. I have to stay, like, up close instead of flying around. Okay. Doing. Hey. This will do the work for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There we hey. go. All right. Kitty's got some claws. Now finish him. Press triangle and kill. It Did is it. the most deadly of shapes. It's the pointiest one. Yeah. Has the most sharp edges. For a second, I thought he was going to catch you and stop you. Oh. Yeah, take him out with the trash. 
with the rest dead. of the garbage into the compactor. Now he's dead. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! <laughs> yes! Holy <laughs> shit! I forgot about that! And mysteriously, Sid never showed back up to work. <laughs> but that was a double, triple uh, mm. agent. Who the Looks fuck like is this guy? Is Grant, I don't remember any of this shit. <laughs> Here in this gripping narrative. I love this game, but I am not playing it for the story. <laughs> nice. Oh. What do you doing? I'm trying to take doing? a bath, you creep. Oh, <gasps> something I really wanted to show you, Zip. Got quite a place down here. Glad I made it in one place. <gasps> Gravity Queen versus King of Thieves. Cat scratches out Alias. Hey, Cat scratches Alias. <laughs> we got this picture Here's of him his falling to his death. <laughs> Put that on the front page. Claws Hexville, into our new hearts. superhero. Gravity Queen. And there's talk in the force about pinning a medal on you. Ooh. Just trying to help people. I don't want any rewards. Uh, by the way. Yeah. Couldn't help <gasps> noticing your <gasps> lack of clothing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Anime. Whoa. I have to admit, I loved being called a hero. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Today seems a good day to find that third part of town and put it back where it belongs. Jeez, cat, a little presumptuous of you. Thank you very much for watching another Doom Time Gaming episode. Oh, I hit the fucking microphone. Whatever. I'm not doing it over again. I hope you guys had a good time. What are you what are you eating? What are you eating? Tell tell me in the comments. What what are you eating? Let us know. And we'll see y'all in the next one.